my last day in Colorado, quite sadly, and I'm going to end my trip by hiking a trail called the Crags Trail that my Airbnb host highly recommended. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous because it's a little bit more off the beaten path than I plan to get, especially by myself. But it's just two and a half miles each way and rated as fairly easy to moderate, but with stunning views. And it's a way to get into the mountains without really climbing the ascent, which I'm kind of scared to do in the car. Um, so a way to connect with the wilderness, get a little bit more unplugged today, which was always my goal. Um, I'm just excited and a little scared, but that's what uh, that's what I'm here for. So got my morning coffee, about to hit the road. It's about uh, 45, 50 minutes from here to reach the trailhead. Then it should take me, um, knowing that I'm gonna be on the slower side, and wanting to take pictures here and there about a three hours round trip. So after getting turned around twice, I finally found the correct dirt road. The three mile journey begins. Honestly, getting to this trailhead is probably the most adventurous thing I've ever done, especially solo. Uh, like I mentioned, it was just three miles down a dirt road off of the highway. Uh, but it was very rural, very bumpy. And my whole reason of not driving up Pikes Peak was the fear of winding around roads and looking down and seeing the elevation, which my Airbnb host said wasn't really a thing with this route. But there were a couple times when I made the mistake of looking, um, it did wind at least more than I was prepared for. And not to mention it was a, once again, a bumpy dirt road instead of the paved path that goes all the way to Pikes Peak. So I'm here. Um, also a little anxious because I was told this was a really popular trail and that's what made me a little more comfortable doing it alone. And as you can see, my rental Camry is the solo vehicle here at the trailhead. I actually stopped at Walgreens on the way and asked how real of a threat bears really were. Uh, they said typically they're more out in the morning when things are quieter. Um, obviously they're more scared of humans than we are of them, but it is a risk to startle them. So they uh, mentioned having maybe a whistle or something like that. Um, but the best they had in store was this squeaky toy. We're gonna try this. I can't make any promises that I'm gonna go all the way, but at the very least, like I said, it's already been an adventure. Let's do this thing. So I'm about a mile in, roughly halfway. I made it to the gorgeous meadow. I hate to be a basic girl, but it feels like I'm stepping right in the twilight. So that up ahead is my first real view of the crank, so to speak, the namesake of the trail. At this point, I'm about three quarters of the way, meaning I have about a half mile to go. You can see the crag is getting closer. It's my last little ascent. There you can clearly see the crags. I assume by getting the top of this hill here, you'll be able to see in the other direction towards Pikes Peak and the mountain range. I just saw a shadow of a chipmunk as I came around the corner. It was enough to make me take high ground. I'll take the opportunity to enjoy the view. This little stream is still icy on May 28th. So it's been about 20 minutes and it turns out, I believe this right ahead is my final ascent. According to my Fitbit, I should already be there. Not gonna lie guys, this is a little intense. And the trail isn't that well marked. Guys, this is like the last 100 feet. I'm so excited I can't handle it.
especially alone and especially in the shape I'm in. I am so glad I did. Over there you can see Pike's Peak. talk I was leaving the top of the trail and I followed what I thought was the path because like I said it's not very clearly defined up there I ended up going about a quarter of a mile the wrong way um, down a steep incline uh, which is very scary and I'm just thankful for the little bit of navigation I had by being able to look up at the crags and kind of orient myself as well as this app I've been using that showed me my little dot how far I was off the trail once I finally did look. Note to anyone trying to do this, do not navigate without any amount of technology. I did have a slight panic attack for a moment. It's just a straight away from here. It's the last like approximately quarter mile. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just wanna sit on my butt and slide down. Oh my god, I did it. There's the bridge to cross over to the trailhead. Clocked time about four hours right on the dot and somehow 6.27 miles despite it being a two and a half mile there and back trail. And it's snowing again. And that's my cue to leave.